Hello everyone and welcome to a new class. So this class is going to be about the basic principles of clinical pharmacology. And in this class, you will learn uh, a lot about the pharmacokinetics and the pharmacodynamics, which are going to be the building blocks for you to learn the other pharmacology material. Uh, and this video is going to be the introduction video for this class. So we will start by defining some terms uh, and we will talk a little bit about pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics and we will have the class plan or the class overview, the lectures that we are going to take in this class uh, listed uh, also. So let's start. So let's start by defining some terms. And let's start by uh, comparing the pharmacology and the clinical pharmacology. So pharmacology, uh, it is the study of substances that interact with living uh, systems in general through chemical processes. Clinical pharmacology, on the other hand, is the study of substances that interact with human bodies specifically through chemical processes. Uh, so, if we say pharmacology, we mean the substances that interact with living systems, while clinical pharmacology is the substances, the study of substances that interact with the human body specifically. And the clinical pharmacology is what, is what we study in medicine. Uh, now for the pharmacokinetics. Pharmacokinetics refers to what the body does to the drug. It is the reaction of the body to the drug when the drug is administered by the patient. It is also the journey of the drug inside the human body. And in pharmacokinetics, we have four uh, pharmacokinetic, pharmacokinetics properties uh, that determine the onset, the onset, the intensity, and the duration of drug action. And those properties are abbreviated in the mnemonic uh, ADME, A-D-M-E. The A stands for administration, the D is for distribution, the M for metabolism, and the E for elimination. So the drug, after it gets uh, administrated by the patient, it undergoes the first property, which is the absorption. And that's when the drug is absorbed from the site of administration into the plasma of the blood. After the absorption occur, the drug is going to be distributed by the second uh, operation, and that's when the drug reversibly leaves the bloodstream and distribute into the interstitial and the intracellular fluids. After that, the drug is going to be metabolized in the third property and uh, it is also known as the biotransformation of the drug uh, and that's by the liver mainly and by other tissues. Uh, to convert the drug into more water soluble molecules to be easily excreted by the fourth property which is the elimination. And that's when the drug is eliminated from the body in urine, bile, feces, sweat, and other routes of elimination. Now for the pharmacodynamics. So the pharmacodynamics describes what the drug does to the body. It is the action of the drug that, uh, that is done to the body. And this involves interaction with the receptors uh, or with the ion channels with the, or with the enzymes or the car carrier molecules for the drug to produce its effects. And uh, now in this class, we are going to have uh, 10 lectures in total and we will have the administration lecture as the first one. And then we have the pharmacokinetics lectures and those are four. So we would have the second, third, uh, fourth, and fifth, 
as the absorption, distribution, metabolism, and elimination. And then we have the pharmacodynamic structures, and those are the drug targets, the drug, the dose response curves in agonist to drugs, the dose response curves in antagonist to drugs, the drug factors affecting drug response, and the patient factors affecting drug response. Now, if you want to support us, you can by uh, liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. Uh, if you want to support us more, you can by subscribing to the Patreon link provided in the, in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next videos. Peace.